Hi all. Let's understand superconductors in this video. A superconductor is a material whose resistance drops to zero below a fixed temperature. The temperature below which the material changes from conductors to superconductors is called the critical temperature or the transition temperature. This temperature can be different for various superconductor materials. At uh, normal temperatures or above critical temperatures, superconductors behave as normal conductors. Let me clarify this. Superconductors are ordinary conductors at normal temperatures. When the temperature goes below a certain temperature, also called the critical temperature, superconductors start forming Cooper bonds and these bonds help them provide zero resistance. Once the temperature increases, these Cooper bonds break and they lose their super conductive properties. 27 metal elements are uh, superconductors at low temperature. Some of the metals that have superconductive properties are aluminium, niobium, magnesium diboride, cuprate such as uh, yttrium barium, copper oxide and uh, ion uh, nictites. At standard atmospheric pressure, Cuprates uh, is known to be the best superconductor, getting superconductivity at temperature minus 135 degrees Celsius. Magnesium diboride is a high temperature superconductor. Let's see uh, the critical uh, temperature for few materials. Um, for aluminium, it is 1.2 Kelvin. Magnesium diboride, 39 Kelvin. Niobium, 9.25 Kelvin. Indium, it is 3.4 Kelvin. Yttrium barium, 94 Kelvin. Mercury's critical temperature is uh, 4.2 Kelvin. In case of copper oxide, it is 30 Kelvin and for lead, uh, the transition temperature is 7.2 Kelvin. Please remember that Kelvin temperature, which is K is equal to temperature in degrees Celsius plus 273, precisely saying 273.15. Just uh, try to remember this formula. Now coming to superconductor types, uh, superconductors come in two distinct types, type 1 and type 2. Type 1, a Dutch physicist uh, first observed the phenomenon of superconductivity in 1911 in Mercury. Generally, type 1 uh, superconductors have uh, critical temperatures between 0 0.000325 degree Kelvin and uh, 7.8 degree Kelvin. They need extreme pressure and low temperature. Also, these types of superconductors have perfect diamagnetism and conductivity. Now, type 2, American physicists uh, Berdin, Cooper and Schrieffer first observed the phenomenon of superconductivity in 1957 in niobium germanium. They are generally referred to as high temperature superconductors. A type 2 superconductor comprises metallic compounds such as lead or copper. They achieve a uh, superconductive state at much higher temperatures uh, compared to type 1 superconductors. The type 2 superconductors can be penetrated by a magnetic field, whereas uh, type 1 cannot. It makes type 2 useful for things like uh, medical imaging and uh, power systems, etc. Now, let's see the properties of uh, superconductors. So first one is uh, transition temperature which is also known as critical temperature. Below this point, uh, uh, metals get uh, their uh, superconductive properties. Superconductors start forming Cooper pairs, which help reduce resistance to zero. Now, the second one is zero electric resistance. Uh, superconductors uh, offer zero electric resistance, which is also called infinite conductivity. Yeah, even good conductors have some resistance, but superconductors have no resistance to current. Now the third one is uh, Messier effect. Uh, superconductors hate magnetic field hence they exhibit expulsion to magnetic field. Um, this is also defined as Messier effect. Now the fourth one is critical magnetic effect. At this point superconductors start losing their special zero resistance power and behave as normal conductors. Now, the fifth one is critical magnetic field. Uh, the value of the magnetic field beyond which the superconductors return to conducting state is known as the critical magnetic field. The value of the critical magnetic field is inversely proportional to the temperature. 
now we are going to see bcs theory hmm? bcs theory uh, is named after john berthin uh, leon cooper and uh, john robert uh, schaefer uh, it's a, a first microscopic theory of superconductivity since uh, heike kamerling uh, on uh, 1911 discovery superconductivity as a microscopic effect caused by a condensation of cooper pairs that's what this uh, theory uh, explains now uh, let's check uh, what are the applications of superconductors uh, they are used in uh, particle accelerators generators transportation computing electric motors medical power transmission etc superconductors are primarily employed for uh, creating powerful electromagnets in mri scanners these conductors are used to transmit power for uh, long distances they are used in memory or storage elements as well hope you got the concept uh, if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment sections and uh, please don't forget to subscribe the channel so i'm signing off see you in the next video bye bye